Um, did Orange, Orange knows all this, right? They've scouted it. However, I have cover of darkness. Ooh, I have cover of darkness. So here's my theory, right? I don't have enough movement on the other side. But what if I stand here? Under cover of darkness. Orange has no reason to suspect anything. If for some reason Brissa comes back down here, I could change my mind if I want to. Or I could maybe try to do both. Oh, look, I'll think about that. But the idea is I stand here under the cover of darkness where no one can see me. And then, bang, surprise. That's assuming cover of darkness works, the AI isn't cheating or anything like that. But I think that might work. I think that just might work. It's just crazy enough to work. So we've got some dead heroes here that just, well, they're obviously dead, but, um, yeah, they're just going to, so Ranlu, that whole thing of him going there was really pointless. What role can you play? I'm just trying to think how I'm going to set this all up. Just in case it doesn't, I'll, I'll be extra tricky here. Extra tricky moves by Septiana. She's sneaking in. She's been a sneak. That would be so sweet if I just popped out of here tomorrow. Surprise! I'm here! Gallops down, murders Chana, murders Isra behind the walls. It's a tough fight against Isra actually behind the walls, but still. I can teleport over. But I think I can do it. It's not going to be easy though. Um, right, I'm digging tomorrow. Ranlu is... I don't actually know what he's doing. Steggles. Nagash was going to give you this stuff. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I might be able to save her some moves. Yeah. I think I can save her some moves here. Leave all of this with me. That's Nagash's voice, by the way. Uh, yep. And then Randu does the talking. Okay, take these with my blessing. Duration of your spells doesn't matter when you're power level 8, I don't think. That could be of use to you. Take this ribcage. Take this. I have two ribcages. You can have that. If you ever find yourself in need of surrendering. I'm thinking we could give... Um... Oh, that goes there. Okay. We could give this some of this stuff to uh, Rissa. No, let's let's keep Ranlu. So let, we've we've got equipment for a third hero. To matter, take that bowstring because she does like casting. I'll keep that. Well, increase the duration of my spells by one. It's not very important. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take this string and give it to Thingy, because that's just from a flavour point of view, it doesn't actually do anything. This is knowledge by two, and knowledge by three. Happy enough? Okay, so she's looking a lot better now. <sighs> so I saved her one movement point there. <laughs> oh, that's pathetic. Yeah, go get them. Ooh, I hope this little sneaky move works. Okay, so we can run away now. We want to run away from blue, which is blue's basically here. And we want to... Yeah, we needed more heroes down here, so this is fine. To come back down here now. Yeah, this is good. Aiden's heading in this direction. Can we do it? Can we get the surprise hit on Isra? 
Man, this is exciting. Great. Go up there. Go to no man's land. Brissa, Brissa, Brissa. <gasps> they stayed still. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just quickly check that blue hero. Where were you? Uh, kids are fighting, uh, and I'm going to need to go, but... Yes, yeah, so you're fine there. You just wanted and got that by luck. And those creatures don't synergize with these creatures. Three different town types. You're going to come galloping down along here. Yeah, we're going to be able to deal with that. That's not a problem. Right, the big news is... She's still there. Cover of darkness. Now... That's all well and good. Now she's actually got to win the fight. Whew. Ready for this. Is there any way to get you an extra bone dragon today? Could give her a, a two extra bone dragons if I could get someone up there and round. I need to hire someone or mess about. Hmm. I have to pause this and sort the kids out. I'll be back, I'll be back. Alright, wish me luck in game and wish me luck in real life uh, as the girls are sorting themselves out for bath time and bedtime. Let's bring the trap. Come on. Hello, here I am. Yoo-hoo! Okay, <sighs> people. Oh, I'm so excited. How do we feel about um, swapping these over? Because I feel I feel okay about it. I'm acting first. Am I acting first? Well, I've got, I think she actually will fight me because Isra is in there. Yeah, I'm acting second. Isra could do something nasty, so I want my weakest stack to be in that brick. Ah, oh, look, it's okay. It's all right. I don't think it matters too much. And again, if I want the zombies to come up, I'll do that. I'll do that. Put it back. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Shana just flees straight away, like, right at the very beginning. I might just apply this result, right? I mean, I can't really stop her from fleeing. Yeah, I might just apply this result. I think this is okay. So she got to flee, which means the fight never happened in front of the car. Yeah. So that's what happens. If you've got two heroes in the castle, you do fight the first hero out the front of the castle with whatever they're holding. But this, my friends, is the big kahuna. This is what we came here for. So all the stronghold troops just died. Okay. The auto resolver is saying we lose. So let's see if we can do better. Okay. How many skellies are there? 700? Expert stone skin. She's an expert earth mage. That's okay. That happens, and that happens. Wow. How do we lose so badly, I wonder? She must be imploding, or... So she's cast expert stone skin right off the bat. 21 and 26, and I'm 24 and 19. Yeah, it's all pretty high stakes stuff. So, okay, we have to assume she's animating dead. Yeah, 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 that's what's going on here. We have to we have to burn up all her animate deads. Okay, so what I'm actually thinking is we have such a big advantage, and she's an expert earth mage, we might make the assumption that she has a level 19 implosion. Or meteor shower, and so protection from earth here is actually a spell I want to cast early. In Horn of the Abyss, all the protection spells are way better. And uh, yeah, so everybody takes a quarter of the damage. And we just set that scene right from the beginning. Because we have a massive advantage, right? Like, none of these stacks matter except the skellies. 
So if we can exhaust her on spell points... Yeah, I think Protection from Earth is what I want to do up front, because she's shown she's an expert Earth Mage. She's got 19 spell power. This is not a drill. This is not like I've played this... This is this is not a drill. This is this is right. You're not imploding me. It just ain't happening. Any downside to this? There is, isn't there? Because I I could kite. So let's stay. Let's wait with you. Dreddies are going to absolutely slaughter them, surely. Goodbye. Alright, you have your go. You don't get a death cloud, you just do that, and that's fine. I'll be raising them back at some point. And... I guess I just go for these. Oh, that's right, I have the bow. I, yeah, well, the vampires want to feed off her, actually, so... Let's get cracking on the enemy liches. Okay, that might end up mattering. That really might. Um, just come, just get out of this meteor shower. That's actually quite annoying. How long does a weakness last? Three turns. It's really good, actually. Um, happy to move out? Yes. Oh, so they're going to venture forth. That's excellent. That's really good for us. If that's what they do. One, two, three, four... And we can confuse and confound them a little bit. Did I just wait again? Let's, like, we, we have to just let him do what he's going to do. Her. Yeah, we just have to wait. Yeah, okay, it's obvious, right? Oh, but I'm acting next! Hoo-hoo! He's still not fast enough. He's only plus three. <laughs> okay, that's good. So now I can do expert slow and be pretty happy. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice gotcha. I'm actually able to make a progress there. Yeah, let's get stuck into them. Okay, she's down to 156 spell points. That's better than before. We have to accept this. It stinks, but... Oh, man, that's good. I, I over... Yeah, I should have prioritised maybe a bit higher. Alright, you're the slowest unit in the game, what are you going to do? That's what I thought, that's great. The option here is we can pretty much sacrifice the zombies to begin uh, the beats. And we'll get the first turn next time where we can clone the Dread Knights. It seems good. What's wrong with it? The, what's wrong with it is there's only one square to stand on. So we have to count on them killing the zombies, 1200... Yeah, they won't actually kill the zombies, they'll just give give them a really bad hangover. Um, so you hang out. You... Just walk out of Meteor Shower for me. You commit suicide. Now's the time, okay. You do this. excellent and then this happens 
and that's a, if we get double damage on this, this would be lovely. No, no, okay. You want to do that? No, I'll, I'll, I'll be here, and then that way she can't cast weakness again. That's fine. Okay. So the haste into slow thing has worked quite nicely. Now I can smash you and do pretty good damage. Can't bless you all. Eighty perish. Yeah. So this will hurt on the crackback, but even then, look, I'm going to deal massive damage. I'm just raising the liches back. How did the auto resolver manage to? Okay, how many did I lose? Five. Okay, well that's really bad actually. Her off. Let's get the liches back. Man, chewing through that pile is a chore. Wait. That's it! Lightning Bolt! Israel, are you serious? Oh man. Dude. What was that? Oh, you guys stink! Eleven died. Yeah, okay. Nine more died, yeah. So there's an awful lot of animate dead I want to cast, but uh... Yeah. I'm so disappointed in his lightning bolt on the skellies, that's pathetic. That's completely pathetic. These are all dead to these. So let's just get animating again. Guess I'll go for these. Yeah. Gotta try and keep that stack as nice and high as we can. We're just going to be animating the heck fire out of ourselves. Every stack needs animated now, except for the liches. And I guess the vamps. Hit them here. The only problem is just retaliation. We don't want them to die, die. Fine. What? How have you fled? How have you fled? What are you talking? What do you mean you fled? Oh, there's an escape tunnel. Oh, no. Oh, I've forgotten about this stupid escape tunnel. Oh, all those artifacts and everything. Oh. Now I'm losing my voice. Oh man, I'd forgotten there's an escape tunnel in the stupid stronghold. Damn. Oh. Drat. Six dreads. Hurts, man. Can't believe it. Okay, we have to accept that uh, that, that happened. Got some experience. Let's get that logistics going. She raises back 103, oh, because she lost tons. Oh man, oh man. Well, we certainly made Orange unhappy. We won the town back. <sighs> yeah, that made you cool. Oh, there's a Behemoth Crag here now. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Resource Silo gives us wooden ore. Yeah, so we've got, you know, we've got a town on our hands here. Um, we caught them by surprise. They were creatures they hadn't bought yet, but... Ah, disappointed. I'm disappointed for everyone. I'd completely forgotten about that escape tunnel feature. So, we're going to want to reconsolidate, spend our money on some more Necropolis stuff. You know, we're going to want to get this, get it upgraded, do the production chain thing again. We'll do that tomorrow. All these heroes are up for that, ready to rock. Stig's mission is still a good one, I think, to still proceed with. Tell you what, just before we sign off, one thing that we're ready to do is dig. Ready, one, two, three. 
Do I really want it? Do it. Oh, man. All right, see you guys tomorrow. And we're back the next day. I've had 24 hours to reflect on uh, Isra's escape and get over it and deal with it. Looking around at what we want to do next, we know Sepchen is coming back this way. Uh, we resolve there's no point her popping her head in here. Right, we aren't going to be buying the ammo card or any other stuff that's in here. Is there a, well, is there a thing of Valhalla? Has she been there? I can't remember if she's been to the Hall of Valhalla. It was her that did this job? No, oh, she's already been there. Not exactly. Of course she has. I remember her going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was ages ago. All right. Wasted 200 movement points there through lack of memory. Let's try to get back on an even keel, shall we? Am I bringing anyone? Hey, I could bring some dudes to slaughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't I take these guys? And we'll sacrifice them. Now I'm actually using my brain. There we go. Yeah, I've got... To, I think I went into this I'm nowhere near evil enough, you know? As opposed to with Fiona and stuff, when I played that game, I had a much more evil mindset. I needed to be more evil in the way I thought about things. So she's going to come back to here and try to get something done, get a fight with someone in this in this region. If Blue comes down to harass us, we can always maybe pivot back over this way. We do have a lot of key person risk here, though. It's, it's pretty much the Sepchiana show. You know, so I'm eager to build Stig into something a little bit more important uh, than she, she currently appears. I think uh, I'd like to have Aiden here ready to shift everything that's in this town down into uh, down to here and uh, get everything upgraded. We have halflings there. I think what we could do is with Stig, if she wants to head off today to join Rissa, I like the idea of her idea of her having the satyrs. And then that way it's a nice clean break. And the satyrs are currently sitting with... Yeah, Tamika has the satyrs. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that she gallops all the way down here, swaps places with this guy. The halflings... I might bring the halflings with me. And there's another bunch of dudes there. I can grab the halflings and we'll transform them somewhere. You just got to, that's, that's what it's all about. It's just pure evil. You've just got to think in terms of the purest, most diabolical evil. In order to be a successful uh, necropolis boss. Okay, I want to give Stig this stuff. Ranlu. Randley was going to run down, ran around there. Let me just see. Um, so Tamika comes down, brings, because we want Stig to leave. So Randley, do this little job for me, will you? swap a -roo. And we like Tamika much better as a hero, I think, don't we, than Randley? Randley really is strictly a ferryman. So we'll notionally have Tamika as a kind of additional hero. So we don't really have an obvious third hero. Now, Gash, we lost G, didn't we? Did we ever lose G? Let me just check if she's still... She's still around. We could still hire her back. She's got wisdom. If we hire her here, she'll learn Animate Dead if she didn't know it already. No way to check that, is there? Oh, no, I can only right click there, I can't look at her spell book. Okay. Right. Ranlu, give me the satyrs. We'll do a complete swap of armies. I've got the bowstring, that's on purpose, that's fine, right? Stig makes her way, and as she's going, she can actually do this on the way. Yeah, and see, it builds up. There's eight more for hire. So that's big money, but we're, gilding, we're getting a nice little pile together there. That's a decent-sized army, right? A 
that's not nothing. And there's also these bad boys. Bad boars, I mean. The boar, boars kind of suck, who cares? Does it matter if I don't flag the boars and get them and use them? I'll just use elementals instead. Like, who cares, right? Let's get cracking. I hear you say. There's also this. I might use Ramu to tidy some of this up here. He could get the boars, maybe. She's a decent hero. I mean, she's very much a secondary hero, but she's something. She's a somebody. Alright, so Ramlu. How am I going to do this? So you're stuck here. You're here. I want Aiden to set up the supply chain. Which we could start here, maybe? Dun, dun. How much further can you come for me today? Just to there? I might just let them build up, right? It's just a few... Just a few walking dead. Yeah, so I have... I, don't, I can't afford to start today yet, anyway, even if I wanted to. Alright, Ranlu. So yeah, that army will be here with Tamika by this time tomorrow. Ranlu can either grab 25 more soon-to-be skeletons. Ugh. The guilt. Or he can set us up here. I care enough about the sulfur, I think. And who's left? Nimbus. Ah, uh, Mr. Nimbus. Mr. Nimbus has to be careful not to be murdered by this blue hero that's connected through to here. This is maybe the strongest hero on the map, this blue guy. We don't know for sure. But this seems very lucrative. Six sulfur. Fantastic. He can... Where did he go? Ooh. Hello, Alagar. We don't want to die to Alagar. And if you run into here, it's a trap. You can't get out. Learn ballistics. Who wouldn't want to learn ballistics? Um, yeah, stick around near the... Uh, stick around near the trading post for me, will you, man? He doesn't have wisdom. Oh, eagle eye. Oh, I would like that necromancy necklace. Two and a half percent still something. Okay. In the stronghold, there's a question around what investments, if any, we want to make. I'd love Septiana to go there if she has time. Maybe she does have time. Uh, sorry, my thoughts are all over the place a little bit. Story of my entire gaming persona. Trying to think about a hundred things at once, and then I get this befuddled conclusion of what to do next based on a basket of things that I haven't thought through properly. Do any of you guys have that problem when you're playing games like this? Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want, I will read them. I might even reply to them. She's already seen all this. This was a mistake of coming back in here. I don't think I want to pay any money here. I'm just happy to let this sit. Right? Yeah. The problem is only being allowed to have eight eight heroes is a is a real restriction. Alright, let's see. Can we see Brissa? She's the one I kind of want to keep an eye on, so let's have a look at her. Ah. Oh. Oh man, this, uh, this is bad. This is bad, folks. Well... Is Nimbus just a dead man? Magic Arrow does it. Well, no, he's alright, okay. So we get this chance to s sort of look at the guy. He's got Sea Serpents with very good luck. Well, okay, so he's a luck hero. That's good for us, because we have double minus four luck. The Sea Dogs, now... Yeah, so... 
I keep forgetting, uh, some, quite a few of you might be new to Horn of the Abyss, so we're, we're literally able to peruse uh, the cove in a lot of detail on the screen. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes to just talk about all these guys, my perception of them. Uh, for those of you who already know the cove, maybe you want to skip forward, because I'm clearly just going to flee here, right? Uh, spoiler alert, we're fleeing. I might cast a magic arrow first, but whatever. So let's work our way backwards from the top. This is the Haspid. It is the upgraded tier 7 creature. Speed 12 across the ground, 300 HP. Oh, pretty good damage, but highly variable. And has this uh, okay attack and defense. I mean, defense, as you can see, there's a general theme of all the creatures that attack is good and defense is bad in the cove. Uh, in my kind of estimation. They also have this poisonous feature, which is the same as the uh, Wyvern Monarchs, which reduces your HP over time. Uh, the revenge mechanic I don't remember exactly, uh, but when when they die, as the, as the stack gets smaller, the remaining stack gets more deadly. Not more deadly than it used to be, but let's say you, co you go from 7 down to 4, the remaining stack won't be 4 sevenths as dangerous. It'll be like five sevenths as dangerous or maybe six sevenths as dangerous as the as the original stack so it's an interesting feature kind of hard to figure out whether you're supposed to play around it or how to play around it the idea being that by the time you get down to one haspid he's really really angry and he's more uh deadly in combat i like to think of these guys as like a fast ancient behemoth um but yeah the poor defense is a um is a pretty big drawback uh, the Sea Serpent is the basic version, so it just comes with Poisonous, but without the Revenge feature. The main thing it's missing, though, is HP. So very kind of the same, same thing again. Kind of like a Behemoth compared to an Ancient Behemoth. Speed 9 is pretty good, though. Obviously much better than a Behemoth. Uh, attack and Defense 22 and 16 is obviously pretty poor. Um, so that's a level 7. Level 6 is actually this dude here, the Nyx Warrior. So you can either have Nyx or Nyx Warriors. Uh, and I like, I'm kind of thinking of these guys, I haven't fought against them much, but it feel, they feel a lot like a unicorn. You know, damage 18 to 22 I think almost is exactly what the unicorns do. Speed 7, health 90, it's very unicorny. The extra dimension to these guys though is that they ignore 60% of the opposition's attack. So when they're getting attacked in melee, uh, you're, if you've got attack 30, make it 10. Right, so they're hard to kill using um, swords and spears. Um, would I rather have that or blind? The blinding attack of the unicorns? I don't know, actually. I haven't played with them much, but... Fairly fearsome, um, and a very nice target for implosion, things like that. It's, you're going to get more value, because the 60% thing doesn't matter when you're you know, casting direct damage on them. So they're level 6. Level 5 is not shown, uh, so we'll talk about them another time. That's the Sorceress. This is level 4. The Acids? Acids, I'm going to say, is the pronunciation. Pronunciation? Of pronunciation is pronunciation. Speed 11, fantastic. This is the upgraded version. The unupgraded tier 4 is the Stormbird. Uh, special ability flies, okay. Ferocity is the really interesting one. The way the ferocity works is they get to attack a whole second time, just like Crusaders do. The only exception is that they need to kill something on their first attack in order for that to trigger. So if you're attacking with a couple of Stormbirds into a big body, like a, an angel or something, unless something dies, the second attack doesn't trigger. But you can see here they're kind of like a eh, flying demon. Speed 11, the ferocity feature... Kind of scary, really. A bit Thunderbirdy, a bit, a bit, a bit Thunderbirdy, I suppose. Uh, with the second attack triggering, kind of like light, feels a bit like Lightning Bolt. The health is thirty though, whereas the Thunderbird has gigantic HP, like more than double that. So, yeah, yeah. There's a squishiness feature here that 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 isn't there in the Thunderbirds. Um, yeah, it feels maybe more like a flying demon that does more damage, and it's probably more expensive to buy. Level three are these dudes, Sea Dogs. Now. The way these work is, this is actually not just the upgrade, this is an additional super upgrade. There are three levels uh, to the level three creature. They start off as a pirate, then they become a corsair, 
and then they become a sea dog. By the time they're, they're a sea dog, they're properly scary. They're really, really scary. Kind of like a Grand Elf. Basically like a Grand Elf. Just get them dead, get next to them, melee them. These guys have no melee penalty. They also have no enemy retaliation if they are in melee. So very, very flexible and dangerous. Deal a lot of damage in close range and uh, at long range as well. 15 HP though, right? So they're the same as a Grand Elf uh, and similar damage range. Uh, there's an extra feature with the Sea Dog called the Accurate Shot, which is just like the Mighty Gorgon ability, where after they've finished attacking, depending on how many Sea Dogs there are, you'll get just free extra deaths on, in the in the target stack on top of that. It, it's not as terrifying as as the Death Stare from Mighty Gorgons, but it still isn't is enough to make you really hate these, and you're going to want to kill them very quickly. Um, so it'll be interesting to see when Septiana goes up against whoever this guy is. Um, how that plays out. Anyway, that's a synopsis of what we're up against. And my initial reaction actually looking at it again, if we can kill these guys quickly and stop them from getting too much value, we might we might be okay here if we can fight this guy soon. Uh, depending on what spells he knows, how much of a jerk he is. Expert haste is kind of the thing I'm worried about with the army we've got. Uh, so we're not going to get a chance to see if he has any of that. We're going to cast one lightning bolt, probably, yeah, there's just no question we're going to do it to them, right, yeah. You can actually see from uh, this as well that he has the plus one health, so he has a ring of life or something. Little clues you can pick up as to what he's up, what he's about. He might have a whole pile of luck tokens as well. You know, uh, four leaf clover, he, he might have just a basket of not very good artifacts, and he just happens to have triple luck as a result. Anyway. Let's uh, get Nimbus out of here. You're not a coward in my eyes, son. Alright, so where's he coming? He's coming to kill all of us. Okay, Briss is out of the picture. I don't know if Septiana can um, help if she's too far from home. But we are under attack. I can't get there. Septiana... Can't get there. Let's set off. See what we can do with her. Get to there. So I'm tempted to do what we did last time, which is hire the stuff that's here, run it to safety. If he wants to take the town, he can. And then he has to deal with me, basically. It's kind of the same, the same thing that we've done before. I can't get her behind the walls. That they can do for me, right? Yeah. I could even upgrade... I could pay to upgrade a second time here. I could actually upgrade the dragons here. But 15 grand is all my money. Unless I do this, here we go. You see what I mean? It's these little attentions to detail. Like they've, they've gone. And, even Eovasius himself, the way he's rendered, he looks like he was drawn by the same person who drew Aiden, who drew Stig. Do you see what I mean by that? Like how hard? That's really hard to get just right. The level of care that the guys have put in. To just get it to feel natural, to feel right, is just so nice. Look at Ranlu in that lineup on the right hand side. You would never know he was not you would never know he was created by the community. Completely created by the community, not by 3DO or New World Computing or anything like that. He looks the the, the pose he's pulling, the the way he's looking in the picture, the expression he's got, the pa the colour palette, I I I'm just I'm in awe of it really. It's 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 a great great job, the Horn of the Abyss. I'm I'm just uh, I'm just uh, yeah I, I'm 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 increasingly becoming a convert really. And sorry I didn't um, give it more of a chance, you know earlier in my uh, uh, Heroes Three journey. Right, enough about that. Enough about me. Septiana runs to here. I mean that's just gonna, that's just happening, right? She's getting as far along as she can. 
She can stop there. I could have maybe got the trogs on the way. Ah, oh, that was a bad mistake. I think I could have just about managed that. I would have landed here. Uh, I'd rather be close as, pos as I possibly can get to them. I have a funny feeling there might be a hundred bodies in there um, that we haven't tapped into. There's no way to get them, is there? No, surely. Surely not, no. So Nagash could run to here. How am I going to use my heroes to best effect here? I feel like it's Nagash rides to here. We waste Septiena's time. Talking to him. She manages to teach him a few things. Yeah, we don't want him to die. Alright. Um, give him the creatures that are doomed. Guilt is real. I feel like the ballista... You know how the ballista let us down so badly when, we, when we'd blinded? I kind of want to get rid of it. Is that wrong? In case we find ourselves in that situation again, right, where we can blind the last stack and start animating deading our entire army, we don't want the ballista waking everybody up. So I'm going to play around that, actually. Do without the damage. Now, she has a full spell point allocation. Okay. So we've wasted Sep Jenna's moves, that's fine. He can come to... If he comes here... 200 remaining. So come to here. Yeah, I can run back out that way afterwards. And then I'm hoping Aiden will have enough moves to do like this ping pong thing. Where he goes one. Give me that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Pong. Okay, boys. Straight to the Transformer. Oh. Yes, we joined this army, you know, for... We had a desire for greater glory from our simple homestead. Making pies in the cottages under the ground there, nestled quietly. And we came from our strong land home, stronghold homeland for the hope of adventure. Right this way, gentlemen. Think of it as an initiation ceremony. Oh, I just feel so bad for them. Oh. Wait, hang on, Paul. Wait a bit, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, this is right. I don't have the... Oh. Zomboids are worthwhile, because I've got a pile of them. And... May as well get these. And I'm not going to waste money upgrading these, right? Yeah, nah. Okay. He comes back to here. And he'll have just about enough to run for it himself. What? Who are these guys? Are they the halflings? <laughs> oh, that's annoying. <laughs> um, don't give them to Nagash. Fool. Yeah, that's hardly seemed worth all the ha hassle now. Um, okay, he's not going to have enough moves to kill all of us. You come to here. Nagash. Come to here. Where am I putting Septiana? Does she have... No, I'm putting her there. Alright, so you're going to have to do it. Gimme. 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 I 
I mean, I, I don't think it's going to be an absolute walk in the park against this fellow, but we should be in decent shape, right? See what kind of spellcaster he is. The vampire lords are totally switched on, like, and there's 87 of them. You know, an implosion isn't really an answer because I've got animate dead to help them feed their way back up again. It's kind of a bit of a one-man combo. None of the other stacks are particularly bamboozingly incredible. No, I want, yeah, something like... Well, maybe use the one as the, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, right, Nagash, you're not dying. Go get the trogs, will you? Have you done that yet? No. Be annoying if we miss out on that if he comes through and gets it. <laughs> Although if he does that, he's a dead man, right? So it's fine. Like, the problem is when he runs down galloping through here or comes flying down here and I have to chase after him. But then we might be able to... Mm. Yeah, I don't really want to fight. I could, I, fight, I could fight him with Stig, actually. Stig could take everything off. Um, Septiana. But you'd only have 108 spell points to work with. Yeah. I'm happy for Septiana to just chase him around, actually. He might just give up. The whole thing, you can do all this preparation, and then the hero just, just turns around and gallops back up here again. Comes back upstairs and just goes off this way. <laughs> Um, so we'll see what happens. Right. Stig the Stiggles. Tamika, Ranlu. No, okay, so let's do Ranlu first. I don't have the, I'm not going to have the money to buy the boars, and I know what's around here, so I don't care. Do this, and come do that on the way out. worth doing at some point maybe Ranlu mate just come back so that you're available for general duties depending on where Septiana lands yeah general duties man general duties Now, she dug there yesterday. She dug there yesterday and found nothing. So, we have to decide right now where our next spot is that we're digging. I have to say, the halfway point does feel like it's in line with that. I should get my ruler out and measure it, but it really, really feels like it's in line with that, right? which is the line she's standing on. So I'm going to go for this square next. Who was that green interloper who just landed? Ignissa. Okay. Okay, so here I come. Now, I could grab this army. Which is certainly enough to kill that, her. It's enough to do most of these jobs. I'm a very good spellcaster. None of this is going to be a problem for me. Yeah, we just want to invest in this woman and make her... Are there any more Ellie's here? Yeah, let's go in here. Let's send her in there. And we'll invest uh, in her power a bit more. She knows Hypnotize. You want the runes. You want the badge. Oh, I didn't see who that is. Hang on, who's this? Gernison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gernison, 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 you idiot. Um, what have we got here? 90 with intelligence. I could just buy and run? I don't really have enough money. Oh, yes, I do. I'll leave Rissa with nothing. Energy, Ice, and Storm. If I want to leave with all three of them, I need to wait till tomorrow. So let's just wait till tomorrow. Rissa has moved. Okay. Now down in the Stronghold. 
I could hire a hero. That hero could get these windmills, all three of them, and flag the gem mine. And kill a throng of orc chieftains. And lots of cavaliers. Oh, there's a gold. Yeah, the gold's awesome. Do I have the luxury? I'm risking 2,500 bucks in order to... What does that give? It gives 2k, I think. Yeah, let's see what we've got. Let's see who we can get. Oh, Nimbus. I'll miss you, man. I'll miss you. It's a chance to get her back. Right. And you've got someone there who's not a complete moron. She's in the wrong part of town, though. Alright. Ah. Uh, she's not really who I want for this job. I'd like someone with logistics or whatever. The other option is I could hire G somewhere else and then come back here. Like, I could just hire her back here. Or here. If she's here today... What's she gonna do? Right up to the trading post for me. No. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, you could. No, you could be there, like... Uh, she'd need to be just here to be safe. And then tomorrow... Yeah, she could hit the trading post tomorrow from there. In case I find myself in need... It's just Iro here, I think. Oh, well, there's, there's something. Do it like this. There's also this to collect. I haven't been to these. It's this I want though. I want you to go get that. So go do that for me. This task is beneath me. I'm 11,000 years old. Don't you know who I am? Sorry. Alright, what's going to happen here? What do you want to do, Odysseus? I don't care, that's fine. Go. What? 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 What are we doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, he's a flying... He's a flying cat. Orange, hello. Okay, Brissa. Brissa wants a piece of the action. Okay, well I'm in the neighbourhood, so let's have a look. So Eovisius wisely ran for it. Whether he saw me or just... Now, who's this? Oh, Straker is here with a ragtag crew. Look at this. Terrible army composition. What is this? He's got Cove, Castle, and Undead. Well, that is shocking, mate. That's really, really... That's a zombie... That's a zombified army composition in, in the first place, if you ask me. So I'm not too worried about him. Brissa, where's my girl? My girl's here. Isra, Isra is here. <laughs> Ingham is there. Man, everyone's got Cove stuff. What's going on? Where's Brissa? What happened to Brissa? I thought one of these was Brissa. <sighs> hmm. 
So he made it back to the portal. Right, I'm going to have to think about this. Let's do something easy first, which is... Reveal the Grail. Yes! Yes! All right. Oh, fantastic! Carry the Grail to the city of your choice, and the populace there will build a fantastic structure, which will provide a tremendous advantage to the city's owner. I think we want to build it back at our home town. Oh, Rissa, you legend. Fantastic. She's exhausted, look. There it is, people. Carry the grail. Uh, I'm not going to look it all up and figure out if the conflux is maybe better, a better home for it under these circumstances. I'm almost certain it won't be. I'm almost certain we want it in Dark Eternal or Cold Soul. I think it gives you extra creature production. So it's going to produce more creatures. That's one of the key features, as well as extra gold. You want that in Dark Eternal. It's not even close, right? It's not even a conversation we're having. Stop asking me. It's I'm not I'm not having this debate. I have to kill this guy first. Yeah, we probably should kill him, right? And then she can just do the job herself on her own. On her way, she'll give. Um, yeah, let's rendezvous. Let's go. I'll come this way. I'll come this way. I'll come that way. And. Do it that way. He has to die. This this will not stand. This aggression will not stand, man. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't think you're fleeing. No, you're not fleeing, mate. You're dying forever. Advanced wisdom or basic armorer. I could see her being a advanced wisdom with her air magic, chain lightning, that kind of thing. Basic armor is okay, but you guys love armor. Feedback on the tier list videos. Everybody thinks armor is just the bit special tier. Everyone seems to love it more. I, lo I love it less than the community as an average, as a whole, loves it. Right, Septiana. We could chase after that guy. He's got flying? But does flying really get you out of jail? The thing is, he can't leverage... If he's stuck here, what's he going to do? He can't buy, you know, hydras and stuff. Well, he can. And they're building up. <laughs> yeah. They were, they were awful to fight against those 17 Chaos Hydras and one Blob. Okay, so we're back. Let's do G's jobs first, because she wasn't being threatened by anybody. Oh, she was being threatened by somebody. Straker. Uh, I could come back. He's going to get all the windmills and stuff. I don't want to waste money. I'm going to have to defend the stronghold against that anyway. But that won't be hard to do. I want the money, right? I'm going to go get the money. Ka-ching! Learn Firewall, I don't think I'll bother. No, you're going to bother running up here. She might do that. Okay. To beat Straker, if you're stupid enough to attack me, I think he's a complete throwaway hero. I don't think he's a serious. I don't think he's serious about what he's uh, saying. Let's fight these boys. These guys are good value. Be annoying if you went and got all these behemoths up here. Oh, well. maybe she can get back in time. Now, uh, did you get the peasants? Do that for me. 25 more hapless souls. And... Yeah, you've got time, because Ranlu's... Ranlu can... Ranlu can... can come to you. Drop 
trust them to me. I shall take good care of them. Can't they just run around like a moron, do this, get ready? I liked having him with the stables. Three crystal, excellent as always. Yeah, cool. So Septiana weirdly is not actually going to try to kill anybody. I'm not going to... I can't get here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too far away. Even if he got out of the road, she couldn't do it. One thing she could do is come in here and get these trogs. Kind of stand here like a bully, you know? Just control, just stay in control of the area is, is probably the, the key thing. Um, step off the road for me, will you? She'll have 349 left. One, two, she gets back to about there. He goes boom, boom. Yeah. Let's do that. Just have to reabsorb that skelly. Let's hope there's a few here. I don't think they've been back. 14! They have been back. So disappointed. Where'd they go? Where'd all your trogs go that you bought? Or did they already become skeletons? Maybe that's what's been happening this whole time under my nose. Alright. Do I want to do this with Nagash? I guess. Give them to me. I'll take it from here. Get your butt back there. Aiden... Are there any jobs up here Aiden can do? No, we did all that already, didn't we, with Nimbus? What do you want to get? Ladybird. Okay. Come here, let's grab these ba bad boys. Uh, no, wait a second, sorry. Yes. No other purchases. No, I bought the behemoths here. I'm happy with that. These guys I can purchase tomorrow. Stig will pay her a visit there. Grab what she needs. Rissa comes around, gives her the army. Takes pixies with her. So I'll take some sprites with me, just to remind me. Just enough to keep Rissa alive. Well, we really want to keep her alive, don't we, so... Yeah. Okay. Just, just a little reminder for, for myself there. Back here, we could wait until next the next day one to do the big maneuver. Yeah, we're all a bit out of position, so I think that's a good idea. Wait until the next day one and then do a great big maneuver. Build the Grail. Start accumulating massive wealth. <sighs> Invest. Kill them all. Happy with this? What are we missing? We're probably missing something. There's almost always something. You could have done different. Yeah, so he's got the Hydras. He's figured out that Hydras are good. He's mucking around in there. Here comes Green. Up from the depth. Straker goes the wrong way. <gasps> oh! Christmas! Who is that? Pink is gone. Okay. Pink's heroes have abandoned him and he is banished from this land. That is because he lost the tower to Alagar, who's switching. He's got everything. He's been all over, hasn't he, trying to find a home. So I don't think Teal is a really serious faction either. This guy's just going to get weaker and weaker as time goes on. He flagged the Hydrogen but didn't buy any. I just don't think Blue... I think we're in the Ascendancy here, right? Let's have a little look. By the time we've built the Grail... Blue has four towns, so that's not right to make that assumption that we're... See, see his best, best creature is a gold dragon, so they're somewhere else doing something impressive. We know that orange has been humbled army-wise. 
Yeah, no, blue has the strongest army at this stage. Orange has the second strongest, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still plenty go going on out there that we can't see. It's day five. We've got Solnir, of all people. Very, very nice hero. <laughs> kind of the... Some people might say the very best hero in the game. At this stage of the game, though, month three, week three, with what I'm doing, is he as good? Probably he's still very good. All right, let's have a look. What did we get? Just Ingham. Is that all you're giving me? Right, which way do those other guys go? I'm going to have a quick look uh, here. Let's just watch Orange again. Blue's shown us some more heroes. We need to check them. We need to check who this green person is. Yeah, where did this other hero go? He's ridden off that way. So if Septiana absolutely ran for it, could we... I think we could probably kill Ingham and just ride this way anyway, and that's our plan. And that's fine. Let's just do that. I kind of feel like we need to do that before we decide what everything else that's happening. Ingham's just completely dead. Did I make a boo-boo again with the... Hmm, no, look, I mean, there's 35 spell points missing. So just don't worry about it. Yeah, so do this. Gallop, gallop west. Before we do, let's have a look at those blue heroes who showed themselves. Do you have the dragons? No, Astra, you have... Right, you have the rest of the army that wants to hook up with... Thingo. Okay. And then there's this guy here. Ooh. Tazar is nasty. A hundred... So he's got a throng. What are they? Golems? Special golems? I don't know what those blue fellows are. Three from the left. Or on the right hand side as you can see. I think they're golems. I think they're kind of mean. He should be able to have a good time down here. but Let's See what he wants to do. Straker didn't bother. He came down this way. Okay. Right, sorry. Back to the... Back to the plan. Kill Ingham. Yep, that's what I want to do. I lose 79 skellies? Not if I can help it. 40 of 40, defense 10. These things have 9 moves. Terrible morale. Look at the morale on them. Because you've got one skell... I hate how the AI does this. I wish... If anyone can mod the AI to not do this. Instead of having minus three morale, they'd only have minus one. If it wasn't for that stupid one stack of skeletons. Such a waste, man. Um, so let's say he does haste if I give him the next turn. So I, instead of that, can I just kill them? How much HP are they? But it's not guaranteed. I, I can I can afford this. Your witness. Uh. He does, he's just gonna run. Oh. He had a cheap implosion, damn. He had a cheap implosion, I lost 79 boys. Oh. That's frustrating. That's a that's a nice bloody nose I got given there. Nagash, could you come up here and explore this area for me? I need some help. I can't do this all by myself. Aiden, do this. Get just get rid of all this slow garbage. Take all of the juicy stuff back. Give me the things that need to be protected. At this stage, give that to me as well.
I'll do that job. You're needed elsewhere. Right, because Septiana doesn't have scouting. We really do need help. I think I want I want this. Right? I want that knowledge. Nag, you'll have nothing left. I need to get this scout off. Where is Brissa? Is she still up here? I don't know. I don't want to fight her piecemeal. No, wrong way around. Hang on. Sorry, everyone. Ah. Just really make sure of it, will you? Yeah, I'm just going to go and stick my head up there. I'm going to be brave. I'll do that on the way. Kind yeah, of feels like we're back in month one again. Right, Septi, does a thousand uh, experience matter to you? Not in the slightest. Okay. Grail time. Okay. Stiggy. Stiggy's going to set off with... It matters to me that we get there first and... We don't allow that kind of thing. So the army is big enough to stand up for itself. She's a formidable hero. But she's not... Uh, she's not like an, a, a top click tier hero. But by the time we're done here, she'll be... That should be alright. Rissa. Hmm. Not used to that. Rissa keeps the... Grail, obviously. Godspeed, my child. We might with Stig put her on tight formation. I don't know how well this army will work. Now ride. To Ranlu. Okay, so where am I gonna get? Gonna get to there? Where is Ranlu anyway? What's he up to? He was gonna do some extermination. Yeah, so Tamika could come up and get ready to receive the army next week. She could do some of this on the way, some of the stuff she hasn't got around to yet. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. She's going to get ready for that. Rissa is going to get upstairs tomorrow. Ranlu, just be ready, man. I've got some precious cargo on its way. She, go on. Expert learning kicking in there. Um, now, we are worried about this guy. Alright, just come back to you then. No more buildings? 
Surely not at this point, right? Eventually we're gonna go ghost dragons here, but I don't need to do that until I'm ready to do it. All right, what can we learn? What can we see? Yes, I wanna see these gold dragons and all these horrible other scary dudes that are, like, where are they? Okay, he's getting some great things done with fly there. Okay, these guys are linking up as though they have some sort of striker you're useless. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a worry, right? He's in here doing all kinds of funky things. Maybe sometimes it's better to not know what they're all up to. You don't feel as disheartened and depressed. The grail, bring me the grail. Get there. Ranlu. What is this thing? Trust it to my care. Rissa, I don't know what you're going to do after this, like... Ranlu? Oops, clicked off him. Bring it on home. How do I apply the grail? If you go in it gives you a dialogue and then woohoo, or if you have to spend the night. I'm assuming you have to spend the night. Um, let's just get this, let's just get this deed done. Oh. Pure cruelty. Yeah, so I'll spend the night, I guess. That's okay, I can afford to. I hope I'm right about that. Rissa, you may as well go and educate yourself, darling. Do that. G. We think Strake has already done this, but you could come down here and get this for me. Yeah, come down here. Let's just see what happens. Uh, this whole thing with G was maybe a waste of money and time and effort, but... Right. You're learning something. Do that. Hit the well. All will be well if you just come here. Do this, go for maybe power. All right, Aiden, hit this, nice. Nagash, sure. Before I move him, I might do Septiana first. Problem is, I'll, this could all be under cover of darkness as well. I'm gonna do these. Yeah, there's a good chance we're just getting cover of darkness here. Let's see. I mean, once it goes off, we'll know. And when you know, you know, you know. I'd like to go and get that. That would be nice to have. Is that a better use of him? No, this seems quiet. This area seems quiet. I'm not sure if Briss is here, but if she is, she's quiet. things I don't have. That might have been stupid, I should have maybe just walked past him. Hmm. These guys are getting ready. Get these guys back. And let's get them transformed. I feel less guilty with troglodytes, I don't know why. They're not as cuddly. Um, Aiden's out of moves anyway, so don't have to worry too much. Alright, I'm ready to begin my adventure! Forward! Two of that a day. I really want to challenge these guys and get them away from the stuff that's up there. <sighs> Alright, let's check this cover of darkness situation. Who is that? Red is dead. Red, dead, 
redemption. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I understand that it probably gets old, but... Ah, that's my stuff. Stig is not pleased. Alamar, you're a joke. I'm not I'm not going to be scared of you. Galar, however, for taking my crystal, you will pay the ultimate price. Not today. <laughs> not today, but you can't have this. Can I do this? Yeah, that's my treasure chest at least. Alright, so I'll do this, I'll wait for Gellar to come back and kill them. I'm not going to run the thingy on this, right? We absolutely overwhelm them, so I'm just going to accept the freebie. I'll gladly take some XP. Very nice. Navigation, even though it's very islandy, won't matter because of the portals and the fact that the areas are clumped together. It's nice that the water did feature, though. Um, yeah, it's just an easy advanced air magic here. Okay, Septiana is surrounded by darkness, which means I think Brissa is behind the walls here with an army that I don't really want to fight. On the, hand, on the other hand, a third necropolis. It's day seven, like now's the time kind of thing. Where did Nagash go? Let's do Nagash first. What's here? Okay, well we found it. That, that's what I wanted. At least you've told me what's there. Don't want to waste time getting this. Just take it back off me again. Yeah, if they hire a hero gallop out, come to, flying down here to kill Nagash, then so be it. Um, that's okay with me. <sighs> right, what are we going to do? Where is the... The town is probably literally here. Like, it's probably sitting right there. As in, the path goes up to it and in. It always enters from the south, right from the bottom. That's the only way it can work, unless it goes down and under here, maybe? So, it, okay, on the basis that it's not many moves to check... Yeah, right. Oh, it's Vitamina, with golems? We can make that work. They've got one, two, three, four stacks there, all of which are garbage. So three of the stacks are dead. So that's the peasants, the trogs. She hasn't gotten around to transforming them, which is really, really bad. Uh, habits. They should have all been transformed and upgraded. So she's going to lose all that. It's just the zombies plus this. So I will absolutely take that. Fight, thank you very much. And it's just before the start of the working week. No escape tunnel here, son. Are we doing this? Yeah, no reason not to. What are we thinking about here? We're thinking about making sure we spam through all our spell points to animate absolutely every living, unliving thing we have. I don't want a single creature to die except the one stack of skellies. That's my mission. No, I think we can do better. Hundred and thirty-eight. Oh no, sorry. I thought they were golems. They're actually Wow, lightning bolt is your opening play. Bad luck. Yeah, that'll be the quadruple bad luck I'm giving everyone. <laughs> okay, it looks like they've got double bad luck. Alright. Is the net result. So they must have started on plus two and now they're on minus two or no zero is something, right? So they must have started on plus one luck. Now if they start on plus two luck it goes one, zero, two. Yeah. So she must have been lucky to start with. Anyway, these aren't sphinxes, they aren't gold, gold golems, they're just oceanids with terrible morale. That's all they are. And uh, the vampire lords will have a good time feeding off them as needed. Yeah, so let's just let them... So that means we want to kill the liches, actually. Well, then again, who are they going to go for? They're going to just go for the skelly pile, right? Is this just a kill? 
That's a pretty nice attack. I'm not going to find a better attack than that. I think I'll just take this. Yeah. Let them. Let them. 12 perish. Okay, fine. And we don't want to waste our hit on them. Let me just kill these. That's the longbow there, the golden archery bow. Sorry to hear that. These boys, just defend yourselves, I guess, because we don't want the stack to die and then for the AI, to, the arrow towers to turn its attention to somebody else. How many of these, do, are they venturing forth? That's good. Beautiful. How many do I get now? Yeah, so let's kill the zombies actually, because the... How many do I kill? One to two. Yeah, I animate dead now, sorry. Uh, nearly missed it. Ooh. Okay, they hit them again, and hopefully no other troops get to attack anything. So these units are dead. The liches kill the skeletons, I guess. Health six. Health four, yes. I'll kill these. Leave that to me, with pleasure. I'll kill these. Yeah, I just don't know if the liches kill all 59. They probably do, though. I do this. You don't exist anymore. And then on the liches' turn, I resurrect. Splendid. Mm. Yes, apply a battle result. Crown of the Supreme, Cape of Conjuring. Nice. I'm taking the logistics. 47 skellies come <laughs> Thankfully, I'm in a perfect place to upgrade them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm almost certainly walking in here to do that. They have the Transformer. Right, we got everything, people. Ghost Dragons, a level 5 Mage Guild. Now, if I'm not mistaken... If I'm not mistaken, Ingham implosioned my skeleton stack before. By that logic, could this Mage Guild contain implosion at the top of the tree? Let's have a look, shall we? Mm. Yeah! Mmm, you feel that? That is what this game is all about, people. Man, oh man. Spectacular. Fantastic. She also, also learned to chain lightning, which, if she didn't know it already, uh, is a thing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's check this bad boy out. Ooh, 1600 damage to a single stack. Thank you very much. We won't be using chain lightning. I think it just isn't going to be as good as... Well, it might actually trump Meteor Shower. That's how good chain lightning is. Look at that, 745. Yeah. It's, mm, sometimes it's going to be better, but it'll usually be Meteor Shower. Man, oh man. How good does that feel? Now, she is a scholar. An expert scholar, so she'll be able to teach Chain Lightning to Stig if she can ever meet up with her again, which is nice and handy. I still have my first aid tent. I have the Cape of Conjuring these other things, which I don't really uh, need or want. Yeah, I feel like the Cape is... Uh... I had a combo artifact uh, in the Complex campaign with the Conjuring... Um, but I, I do have the Collar of Conjuring from the very beginning of the game, I think. I have the Collar of Conjuring. don't know if I have the ring. I, I think I do have all three, right? If I click through... Yeah, hang on, I can check. I've got the Collar of Conjuring. It's here. And I also have the Ring of Conjuring. So Tamika is the one who we can do a combo with. No one else has anything? Oh, yeah! Oh, what's happened? Do I have the Grail? 
Did it get built? Okay, what am I missing, people? So it looks like I'm supposed to click on my capital to build it. Do you wish for this to be the permanent home of the Grail? I do. Ooh, there it is! Sacred monolith? Soul prison. Oh, the presence of the soul prison increases the weekly creature generation by 50%. Provides your empire with an extra five grand each day. Sorry I said grand, so weirdly there. I'm just so excited. And boost the necromancy skill of everybody by 20%. That is insane. Maybe it was 40%? I wonder if they nerfed that. I'm not going to bother looking that up. Check that out! Look at it, people. Oh, yeah. Look at the souls captured at the top of it. Oh, your soul is mine. It's got this whole Shang Tsung thing happening. I've got three necros now. Three. That's right. This place generates nine grand a day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Plus, Sepchena just pinch this. Oh, I'm buzzing here. This is amazing. We're in a commanding position now. We still don't have the best army, so we need to consolidate our forces, right? And really start to build towards a big showdown against those big armies that are still out there. Worm Warren, I think what we want to do is hire a hero from here to just do the scouting that's necessary and get started probably today with that job. We raised 47 skellies, we want to upgrade them. Um, and I suggest something like this, right? Okay, I don't want to waste any more of her time. She's going to come galloping back out along here. Yeah, I want someone else to run around and do all these jobs, right? Okay, so step back out again. One thing I might do here is just give her the wishing well. No. Sorry. Okay. So that means she recovers all her spell points every day until we're ready to fight again. And who can we hire in here to just start looking around? I think we have to go for Nimbus, right? We have to go for Nimbus, but we don't have enough uh, slots. So I'm thinking maybe Ranlu could be take the week off, and I'll use um, the Alchemist to do to do the things. Rissa, she has 3,800 experience, whereas Ranlu actually doesn't have any. He's never fought. He's never actually fought anybody in his life. Even though he feels like he's played quite a big part. And I think, to be fair, he has played a big part. So, yeah, if Rissa goes here, we aren't as worried about, uh, you know, getting all the creatures out of here on day one anymore. It's not really our main supply line. Now, we may have so much money that it doesn't matter that we still want to buy everything from all three necro necropolises. I don't know. G over here in the stronghold, I think. Where's that guy? Straker? So he's going to be mucking around. I think we can definitely get this. Um, he, I think, went there. That's, that does mean it'll be available tomorrow. If he comes galloping up here, I can... I don't even need to. Yeah. So I think I can be a bit more greedy than this. Come wait here. <sighs> Sepchena comes up this way. She comes back. We know we're going to want to use her. I'm not going to bother with the cannon yard, am I? I? I should at some point check out what cannons actually, how good cannons are. I haven't used them before. All right, Aiden. Yeah, so, right, so Aiden, you could come help me with this. 
and then this guy is there. You're both going to come this way and help with this project, right? No, I'm waiting till tomorrow. I'm going to gallop out with uh, all of the army. I'm going to take it west. Yeah, so Aiden stays where he is. Right, so who can I get? Is it Nimbus? Yeah, let's get Nimbus back. Upgrade your skeleton. Get the rest of them. And... Let's just check out what's here. Please try again next week, okay. Yeah, so on that same bit of logic, we want to do this. We want to get her helping, you know, with that. Let me get to the trading post. Come back here anyway for now. Okay, Aiden stays where he is. These others all stay where they are. Don't need to buy any more soldiers in Wormore, just in case there's another... Well, I can't actually... I'm just thinking if there's another annoying orange hero that comes around and pips me here. I probably should have left some, some meat back here. That might be a mistake. Let's see if we live to regret it. The blue's upstairs. Separate blue hero up there at the fortress. Tan's run out of road. Green is probably going to run out of road too. Straker mucks around. Sure. Okay, so let's have a quick look back upstairs there. How much do I need to worry? Not very much. Okay, we're going to want to have some ability to beat him. down through here. Septiana's on her way though. So she can cover quite a lot of ground. Yeah. So let's use Nimbus first to just find out what's what down through here. Crystal's great. Yes, yeah, so this is all just a pocket. There's more down here. I just need to make I just need to be satisfied that there's not I'm not going to get a nasty surprise. I don't think I am. I don't think there's anyone down here, right? There's, there's obviously more on down through here. Could be connected to that, I don't know. Stig might be able to fight her way down into here. It's connected. Yeah, Septiana comes back, and then we do these other things. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. She comes back. Now, we know she's coming east. Up to that point, anyway. Keep going that way. Most uh, opponents that we've come up against. G, what are you up to? Why don't you do that for me? That's something you can do. Straker, I'm still close. I'm still close town. Hmm. She, we know we're doing, we know what she's doing, she's doing that. So I could rotate these around. Tamika could stand here. Aiden could stand here. Between them, they're both ready to get the army to about here tomorrow. It is a bit of a gallop, isn't it, over to Wormwood? Yeah, I think it's okay, though. I can. I can just do that. Is that a lot of fuss?
So watch this, if I go out there with two bone dragons, and I stand here, well, go ahead and do this anyway. It's actually quite costly, all right. I regret that, that could have been done afterwards, Never mind. She waits here. We're going to try to both set off tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Nagash. Ah, oh, still I'm torn with this. Town appears open. He'll have... 49. He can get the army back down to about here. It's a good chance of just bringing the army back to safety. I don't want to get stung by gold dragons. What have they got again? Let's just check the thieves skill. What has Orange got? Titans? Wherever you are, Isra, yes, you're there with Titans, and your Kingdom Army strength is better than mine. So Isra versus Nagash with a Gold Dragon Army that beats mine, a Titan Army, I mean, that beats mine. No, thank you. Just not a risk worth taking, right? So he's here. Tomorrow I can gallop to... Let me tell you exactly. There. So Nagash can come stand there. Where was it? Sorry, folks. Uh, right there at that bump. Just there. No time. Maybe could have gone there. That's probably a mistake. All right, so it's kind of like the everything's happening in parallel. Like it's as though um, they're operating as if Septjan is just out of the loop. So if we can think of her as a free agent, what do we want to do with her? I don't want to send her back to the stronghold. There's no point. I don't really want to gallop all the way over to here just to kind of scare Aligar away, like that doesn't do anything. I don't really want to gallop all the way through here to take this, because I just don't think this is generating enough value for blue. I want to kind of go find the cove and kill the people of the cove. So after all my back and forth, I think the best way to do that is actually to come up through here on my own. Here I go again. On my own. Oh, look at the little snow-covered monolith. Oh, so good. She could go here to the Tree of Knowledge. Take this town easily. Right. Come back up through here and get to this portal and start really just being a nuisance. I can certainly be in this area waiting for reinforcements. Right. Yeah. She went there. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, snow is so bad that I'm actually not even going to waste that, those moves there. Alright, Stiggy Spell Power, that's my crystal, I'll take that, thank you. Galar, oh I forgot, okay, sorry. I forgot that, she was probably supposed to run down under here and kill Galar, oh well. <laughs> do I care about Galar? You can't do anything up here to me. Nothing really. There's nothing really here. You can have these mines. Who cares? I don't care. Do any of you care? No. So I'm hoping that tomorrow we can buy everything. Well, it's not even necessary to buy everything from here tomorrow, because we're getting the, get, get the upgraded troops over to there. So yeah, we're going to buy Rissa's stuff tomorrow as a priority. Okay. Blue, doing some blue things. This fellow. 
Gala, don't eat, just don't bother. Moron. Who's that? Okay, that's annoying that they got the sulfur. Who's this other person? Ah, uh, Jem, what are you doing? That's not going to be good enough, Jem. Right, uh, can I get back here? Might be nice to kill him, I don't have enough moves. Does Orange have any agency down here anymore at all, apart from Straker? I don't think so, right? This is barren. This is just, there's nothing happening in this area. The portal is covered by Septiana. So... G... If she comes to there, she does die to him, that's the problem. Stay there for the night, yeah. I think that's okay. She's got one spell, one, one movement point left, so she can just stay there. It's fine. Jack be nimble, Nimbus. Uh, hmm, let's just see. So let's do our plan. What we were going to do? We we're going to buy all these creatures. That's a big. That's our first big priority. Well, maybe we want to buy these creatures actually first, right? Yeah. Yeah, get these moving. Get these bad boys moving. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, I've got these junky piles of guys around. Uh, get this... Get this moving. Do we want 50 whites for 10 grand? Say yes to the zombies. I'll say yes to the skellies. Okay. 10 grand for 50 whites. Over in Wormwood, there's 14 more to add to it. I think so, right? Let's just leave whites alone. Save that 10k. In Dark Eternal, there are 39 wraiths available. She's probably not leaving today though now, right, realistically. Let's see, can Stig get us some more money? He's, I think he's just running for it, he's running from Stig, that's, that's really what he's about. And just in case he can fly over, what did we agree? We thought these were the best value. Defenders? enough? He'd need to have a very good day at the office to um, to beat that, I think. Like, we'd have to be all lightning bolts and things like that, and stone golems are a pain to... Yeah, I think it's alright. I think it's okay. I don't think I need to over-invest. Um, so with that being said, Warehouse of Gems, I could do the Imp Cache. Yeah, I, I act before these Horde of Marksmen. And I know... Advanced Lightning Bolt. 564 points of Chain Lightning. She already knows Chain Lightning, that's great. Yeah, let's get this. It might be that the Impies have uh, something for us. 73 of these bad boys. <laughs> oh, it's not expert though. I was going to say forgetfulness. Ooh. Oh, can't hypnotize. I can never hypnotize. It never works. So I can teleport. does pretty much the same thing as most of these other spells. I can deal with one stack, but not both. What's the cheapest way of dealing with them? Just 
Teleport's the cheapest way of dealing with it, right? Three spell points. Hang on, I'm an idiot. I've been saying three spell points. I've been misreading it. It's a third level spell. The actual cost is 15 spell points. Ugh, sorry. Yeah, so just lightning bolt. Let's just kill this pile here. And shoot them. And you're just gonna have to suck this up. Do you have positive morale? No. Cast mirth on yourself? No. Alright, I'm just gonna have to suck this up. Sade is in action. This is certainly more annoying than I had wanted it to be. Oh, look at these guys. Rah. Lost two guys. Basic mysticism is interesting to me. Um, mysticism in Horn of the Abyss has been buffed, so you get five spell points per turn instead of one. So it's way better than it used to be, like way, way better. She is a long way from any wishing well. She's going to be an adventurer. I actually like it. I think I'm going to take it. And tons of nasty little dudes. I took no damage. I, I think this is just right. It's going to be so easy for me to abuse this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to accept that battle result. Didn't get much money for it anyway. Okay. Okay, so she's doing things. It's all a bit small ball, but... Um... Right, back to this question. I'm not buying the whites, but I could buy them in a pinch if things get nasty, if Alagar comes, comes our way. Right, give the stuff to Aiden. Right. Okay, he's got all of the stuff I was supposed to have. Boy, oh boy. Take that with you, actually. Give that to Nimbus. Uh, and take all of these, but give me back that. How's that look? I'll keep these for next time. Take that, give it to Aiden. Not Aiden, Nimbus. Nagash? Yeah, what a waste that was, okay. Aiden. Do it. start some of these jobs up here. Nagash, come on down old son. Hitting the pavement, look at that. And it's 27k to buy all these creatures. Can't really leave today anyway though, right? Old Nimbus only gets to here. By the time he's gone there, Nimbus will get to about there today, so there's really no point. The only point would be if I got stung in town by a enemy hero that I don't know about. Nimbus, you may as well do a bit more scouting down here, man. Oh, wasted moves. I could have revealed that without going all the way down there. Yep. Yeah, old Nimby's a bit out of position. I think we should... Make the investment now. Do the upgrades first. Just do some of the most important purchases here now. Just so that we're not caught short.
pricey. But worth it. Okay, we'll tidy the rest of this up tomorrow. Maybe ghost dragons and stuff. Okay. Alright, Rissa, you do have to wait, I'm afraid. Even the almighty grail cannot... Can't support all of these purchases. Uh... Yeah, we made we made peace with this idea that Septian is kind of on her own. She's not getting any younger. No, she's not getting um, this army. Like I, we could say, maybe even she should give the, her bone dragons up so that we can make more ghost dragons for somebody else to run around with. If anything, there's no one here to talk to her though. Maybe that'll work. So she does this, and then she wants to come galloping back around again, right? Because that's a dead end, and she has no other exploit. She can't dimension door or anything. So she can just do this and trot back down again. When making a long journey, do it in do it in chunks like this, just in case you realise something as you're doing it. It's like, oh wait, no, I meant to do something, and then it might not be too late to fix your, the mistake you made. Um, and especially if you're revealing map as you go. That's a, it's, it's an absolute no-brainer. Yeah, so this is just a gimme. That's unacceptable. Uh, who's in here? Is there someone in here? There's no one here. Why? Oh, because of the um, hideous mask. <sighs> what a shame. What am I trying to do here? I could offer them the vampires so that they fly out, attack me, die in retaliation. It seems like a pretty limited downside. Doesn't look like she's got morale. Well, she has negative, yeah, she has minus one morale. Uh, right, we'll just stand here then, man. Okay, now I get to do this cool move. Totally fine with killing both stacks if that's what happens. Yeah, I think I made the mistake of hitting the defend button and keeping them back and then the towers changed their minds and started shooting my important stacks. Bone dragons still have a turn, so we'll wait here. So I think I'm supposed to start animating dead because I might not get another chance. The spell points are meaningless to me. So it's not very good, but who cares? So they're dead. Yeah, they go for the skellies again and now it's just game over. So that's fine. Kills six to eight, so don't be a stranger absolutely no reason why, if it's well managed, we should take losses at all when we've got Animate Dead. He seems to be able to walk through. I can walk through there, but there's going to be <laughs> landmines. So uh, let's do it like this instead. Handy tip, don't walk over landmines. Oh, the lookout tower, I always forget, has... Yes, it's so nice to get the lookout tower and there's just like... Ah... Oh. Fog is lifted. You feel that. You feel that breath of fresh air coming. She's like, <sighs> this town is mine. Let's have a look. What's in here? Titans are here. The Mage Guild is here with stuff she doesn't care about. Or oh, she already knows. No point coming in here. Is there? Wall of Knowledge. It hasn't been built. <laughs> right, do it. There it is, the Wall of Knowledge. Lovely. And a whole pile of cool creatures as well. Very nice. So this is quite good in the late game. Sometimes you take towns off people who are struggling and there are um, unhired monsters and you can just leave the town on its own. Kind of like what we've done with the Stronghold. And if someone walks near it, you just buy the stuff that's in it. And until then, you don't worry about it. So um, that's what she's going to be doing. We can get all the way to the Tree of Knowledge. 
but what I really want to do is touch base with everybody, do a bit of a swapsies deal here. I feel like Aiden can pop round. I'll take your bone dragons, but I'll give you. I'll give I'll give you other things to make up for that. Like if I had two stacks of fifty, I wouldn't need the bone the bone dragons don't do anything. And I can give you the bone dragons, turn them into ghost into ghosties, and then someone else can run around the map with ghost dragons. Okay. And then I'm coming back up this way, so I'll hit the tree on my way back up. Yep. That was well worked out. And then, if I do say so myself, so then we're gonna... Yeah, we're not... We're gonna be bringing the other bone dragons back here, so just buy the things that we know she wants. Which isn't very much more money. It's got no move. It never moves anywhere. So it doesn't matter. So could Tamika be the ghost dragon queen? She's going to come back up here with ghost dragons... Yeah, I'd be a total jerk to Alagar. Yeah, so she could be the Ghost Dragon Queen, and I'll give her, well, her Black Knights, well, I can't really help you there, love. I'm going to want the Black Knights for myself, I think. Yeah. Let's just check here. Remind me how much money this is. Yeah, yeah, I'm nowhere near it, right? Get Rissa started. Okay, one last look here at the Stronghold. Are we sure three behemoths is enough? Or, no, see, there's no need for us to take that risk. We could just do this. Make it five. Consolidating its power. Mm, hydras. Collecting hydras. Ah. Oh. This green guy serious, is he? Galar. Yeah, do this. Yes, but I'm just going to take the freebie. Yep, 65. Yeah, yeah. Give me that money. Give me this. Oh, come around here and see what that is first. Lots of manticores. Now there's an interesting challenge, and they're... Hmm. Necklace of Ocean Guidance doesn't matter now. Right? This is probably better. And again... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Have <laughs> positive morale, which is really annoying. I do to you? Does that work on these? Oh, it looks like it does. Uh, just lightning bolt, right? Good old lightning bolt. In fact, I don't even need that. Look at that. I only need like 200 damage magic arrow. Oh man, that's embarrassing. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for you. Say yes. I'm just at this point. I'm just programmed to say yes. There's probably going to be some rewards in there worth getting. Okay. Now this plan of mine to send Septiana back up here with a different composition to the one she's got now. We start in Wormwood. We buy the stuff we know she wants that we haven't already got. I could buy the ghosties. I could buy these now, and then that way, well, 
But then I can't get uh, can't get uh, Rissa going if I spend that money. Let me just check. So if I spend all this money but not on these, I can just about buy everything that's in here and set off today. Hold that thought. Let's look at the uh, situation down here. Straker went over here. Okay, so that's not interesting. This isn't interesting. And then this. So I'm saying don't buy the ghosties. We don't need them yet. Okay. Nagash sets off. Gives the stuff to Aiden. Aiden ran, ran Desvouses with. Uh, Septiana. But first, Nimbus speaks to him and says, Look, pal, how about you give me them? Septiana, someone else might want that. They've been carrying it around for years. Give me this, though. He's got the Bone Dragons with him, that's okay, that's alright. Alright, and then Nimbus is going to finish scouting the area. That's good, that's good scouts. We're coming this way. It's nice that we've got this lovely big road here. We're doing the old army swap. Give me that, just in case. She wants it. What is she wearing around her neck at the moment? Don't remember. My queen, Aiden, my faithful servant. You need to learn how to shoot. Have I ever told you that? You shoot like my grandma. Immune to destroy undead, I think, is usually going to be inferior to having a bit more necromancy, so that's that. 277 out of 315, so we may as well do our swap out. I don't need two crowns of the Magi. Duration isn't really interesting to me anymore. I know Dispel. Let's clear out some of the clutter. You might as well wear that, Aiden. Now, okay, let's do a parley here. What are we what are we doing? What I'm saying is, let's go back and make these ghosties finally. We like a big blob of zombies. Septiana likes teleporting them around. We know we want all the skellies. How many is that? 300 now? When you, when you take the whole army together, right, it's just a death ball, right? It's, she's just going to be unbeatable. 36 of these bad boys, 114 vamp lords, no one is getting past that, right? Not with Animate dead. I mean, may, maybe the Recanter's Cloak, although I have a funny feeling in Horn of the Abyss the Recanter's Cloak is banned. It's switched off. So I can animate dead, I can implode, I can vampire lord my way through uh, life, happily. What does it look like when we split them in two? It still looks really nasty. Like really powerfully nasty. I'm thinking maybe we could let someone else have the zombies and skellies. Or let's say the skellies. You know, and I keep it nominal. You know, if I actually... Oh, hang on, let me actually do it the way it was meant to be done in the vanilla game. There you go. Um, like, let's say I, I just keep a handful. Taking up two of the slots here.
like 67 liches with no range penalty is bonkersly good. Right, who needs bone dragons when I've got these guys? Ghost dragons, I don't need the first turn because I'm going to be animating, I'm going to be teleporting, expert spell, expert cure. Like what I'm saying is, is she good enough in this configuration to do, you know, the gold dragons, the titans, all of those other things? I'm saying yes, she's got it all. She's got it made now with implosion. The wishing well, she's just got her own portable well that she carries around with her. Maximum spell points every day. Come on. If I can remember to do the swap out, that is. I think that's enough. And she can raise her own skellies. Let someone else have a crack. You know, th these could find their way to uh, Rissa, for example. Yeah, that seems right. That seems very good. Yep, yeah, alright, we're doing it this way. Thank you, Aiden. Now I must... F not flee, I must... Uh, I must away, ear break of day. To the Tree of Knowledge. That's where she's going next. Plus one level for free? Allow me to teach you a little of what I have learned over the ages. It's very Lord of the Ringsy as well, isn't it? Time for Expert Necromancy. It's probably far later than um, uh, a lot of you guys would advocate or expect, I'm sure. Can you tell that I haven't played Necro for a while? Hopefully it's not too too obvious. So she's ready to just go up here and fight absolutely anyone who gets in her way. The only slight asterisk I have is that her good artifacts aren't switched on because I want to top her up to um, her maximum of 315. How sad am I about that? Yeah, let's just do a swap out of that. So I've got a luck and a morale debuff. I just miss out on the luck liches being amazing. I think that's alright, it's fine. Only if she gets ward. Just not taking any time off at all in terms of movement. Okay. Rissa, are you ready to depart? Before we do that, I have to defend the conflux properly. Okay, let's just defend this properly. I don't want any nonsense. I really don't want to lose it, it would be a complete pain in the backside. That said, I want to set off with Rissa today. Oh, that's another whole day she's going to have to wait. Okay, new plan. What if I go make some trades? No, can't get there. Can't get there. No one who can get there, no. Trading post. I'm going to be careful. I just really don't want to have to reconquer the conflux. That's just going to be completely annoying. Now, what if you set off without the bone dragons? Yeah, could do it that way. How much do I miss out on them? 45 and 22. So I need 2k. So I think about 5 grand, I'm about 5 grand short. Oh, just do it. What's a day? Sorry, what's money when it saves me a whole day? So I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Turn these off, turn them on. Make the purchase. Can't do it because Randlu's in the way. 
<laughs> uh, Randley, 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 don't be a moron your whole life. Right, I'm going to do this a stupid way. One at a time. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Could be an argument, actually, for... Uh, not now I'm out of money. I'm still out of money. Um, a bit more. Splashing the cash around. Let's use some of that movement. Let's get out there. There's a windmill that we're missing, but oh well. We don't need to come this way and fight Killer. I'm not going to do that. We get up to where the action is. Okay. G Strike is not coming back. She isn't doing anything. I may as well just... I may as well just... Take some gobos with me. Leave them behind. Take some gobos with me for the sacrificial chamber. You know what I mean? Because putting gobos in there... I don't feel as uh, guilty. Like you're not doing anything here, G. You may as well just go. That's annoying, but whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Stone skin, earth magic. Never found out what that is. Maybe I should. Let's go find out what the witch is offering. We never actually bothered. No, thank you. Why would a witch know in a witch's hut know anything about artillery? Oh, those days I spent as an artillery woman in the national service. Back in my youth. So Aiden is the one, okay, he's going to come back down. He's going to give Nagash these guys. Nagash rides back. They all line themselves up. Tamiki gets ready to rumble. You know what? Everyone should be going and doing this. Go do it. Yes. Great. And she had a day off there, so that's perfect. Alright, the tower isn't under any threat. The stronghold has behemoths guarding it now. If Straker wants to try to negotiate. Spread around like annoying. Spread around annoyingly. Conflux is defended. Everyone's out of moves and exhausted. I've got no money in the bank. What more do you want from me? Who is that? Oh, there's quite a lot happening with blue and green. Here comes teal. Mm. All right, we need to check all three. Aligar isn't much of a threat. We've got plenty of notice anyway. We can always buy the white, so that'd slow him down. If he conquered that off me, I wouldn't be terribly upset, right? Because it's of no use to him. Rissa is handy. Rissa could pop up here. All that would do is scare him off. It wouldn't really do much. Um, hmm. Let's do Stig first.
Oh, there's that fortress. Righto. Yeah, so if she was hiding behind the walls, I could still chain lightning my way through to victory there. I have time to do this first though, right? Yeah. No, there's no need. No need to lose anyone. Hope you guys are having a good day out there. Enjoying the hero's action. Saders are doing good stuff here. I'm glad we actually got to use them for something. Archery, I'm not the girl, archery girl, no, thank you. Yeah, okay, we got some stuff. Yeah, we just come back along here now and uh, we know where the fortress is. I should have spotted that before, it didn't occur to me. All right. Tepchana, swap everything back out again. Bow, mask, dummy. And yeah, let's have a look. What's behind door number one? Okay. An abandoned hovel? Surely there isn't another necropolis. <laughs> I'm just I'm just galloping. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> It's kind of cool. She feels like a yeah. It's it's okay. She can be out there on her own now because we have established really powerful secondary forces. Um, right, G Nimbus. Just remind me what I want to do here. Who's the guy? Aiden's the guy. Do it. Keep the fighting artifacts with the army, so that way, whichever of the three these three heroes ends up doing things, these are these can just stay on Aiden. Yeah. Okay. Nagash, take the ghost, the bone dragons back. Right. So this is the thing now. They're ghost dragons now. And here's two more. Now I've got nine. Seems good. Okay. And then we'll do all that in reverse. Give the go, go, give the dragons to Tamika. And Tamika can take them somewhere. Maybe up here? Yeah. 
and that'll be a massive headache for Teal. Well, either she can do it or she can give everything to Rissa. Is Rissa ready now? Come up through here. Yeah. No, I don't think she's quite ready. I think I'd like her to have the benefit of those extra soldiers. Yeah. Alright, so Rissa, I want you to join this ragtag crew. So where do you get to tomorrow, Aiden? Now look at Aiden. Legend. Get to there. I don't know why the red, dark red and burgundy and red arrow is maybe giving me a different tooltip than to the little horses, what the little horses tell me, I'm not sure. Too messy, let's just leave the 14 sitting there for now. And I'll trade my three bone dragons for the nine ghost dragons. So on that basis, she can stand here. Okay. G, we don't care about Straker. Did I ever check what uh, was happening with blue? I wanted to just make sure we'd stayed on top of what they were doing. Yeah. Astra has an okay-ish army. You have, there's the gold dragons. It's all spread around. You've got different heroes, all sort of half strong. And then you've got your main guy who's saving up hydras somewhere, wherever he is. How about I do this job? Poor unfortunate souls. Go on, there could be quite a few in there. Let's find out. Twelve? Alright. There's quite a big area here around the... Uh, Necro? 